Okay, hello again then at Hollows, or welcome back to another video. This is still part of the session of recording where I'm not feeling too good. So, I'm just prefacing the video with that in case I don't perform optimally. However, in the last video, to be fair, I was actually okay. So, don't have any issues. So in this video we're going to be sort of making our way... Are you serious? to the upper, upper, no, to Cathedral Ward. Not upper Cathedral Ward, that's much later. You don't have to worry about mimics in this game if any of you have played the Dark Souls series and are worried about mimics potentially being in chests. You don't have to worry about that here. Okay. Healing Church Workshop. Okay, dispose of them pretty quickly. Right, let's just sort of do a loop of here. Oh fuck. The PlayStation controller is insanely sensitive. It's something that throws me loads compared to the Xbox controller, you know? Please don't go down there. Okay, the item's gonna be down there. That's okay. I can, I'll can. i be going back down there soon anyway. I'm just gonna clear the enemies out up top. I always generally try and do a clean sweep of, of enemies whenever I uh, go through any area. Perfect. Hello! Whoa! Again, camera not locking onto enemies. Let's get another parry. Uh, seriously? There. Thank you very much. Thick, cold blood. Going round and round, getting motion sickness. Which isn't very good when I'm already feeling a bit sick. Because no one of these stories of this structure has an item at the end. Not there, apparently. Yes, I did see the law that was on the floor. Where it said inspect and you can read something. There we go. I've got to try and remember the specific placement of that item. Save time in the future. You sound crazy, mate. Jesus. Come on. Calm down. Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. More items in the shop. That's always good. That's what those sword badges mean anyway. I should have mentioned this earlier, but I didn't. Whenever you get a sword badge, it's usually it. There's one here. There's one dropped from one of the hunters earlier. And they allow you to purchase more items from the shop. Which means that uh, sometimes they're quite important items. This is a door, which we can't go through yet. That's not why I came here, though. You'll see the time of day has changed. Bloodborne has a time of day system where certain events that you do in, in the game, usually bosses that you kill, will trigger uh, certain like the time of day to change, which changes the enemy placements in some locations, and it also changes uh, some character quests and things that you can see or events that will happen. Sometimes you go back to an earlier area and entirely new enemies are there that weren't there before. This also changes with insight, the currency at the top right with the eye. That also, if you have high insight, generally it means that enemies might have certain move sets that they don't normally have, which allows them to be a little stronger and more difficult. Okay, this bit is annoying. Okay, this is something that Dark Souls does a lot. Uh, platforming. The platforming in this game is terrible. I don't even I'm not even gonna defend it because it's just generally terrible. You can expect to die a couple of times here, so make sure you don't have too many souls, I'd say. A 
I still don't know the exact route down. There's a secret area here as well. Um, I'm not sure. Should I try and get to it? I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to get to it. There's a ledge that that's the ledge I probably should drop onto if I want to uh, get to that secret area. I mean, if I jump from... Should we try it? Should we just try it? Should we just try and jump from here? Oh, I was so close. That's annoying. Right, I'm going to cut to when I actually manage to get to that secret area, okay? Okay, there we go. Made it here. Now, this is a really cool secret area. is the hunter's dream, but in, you assume, the real world. So this is the building which we go into. And hunter bone. Oh, gotta get it from here. Third umbilical cord, which is a very important item. Small hair ornament. And then of course the lantern to actually get out of here. As well as the original doll that the uh, that the doll in the Hunter's Dream is clearly based on. Can we actually carry on dropping now that we've been here? Can we continue our descent in the pit? Yeah, we can. That's pretty good. Okay, now let's fight this guy. There we go. Not too bad. He's a unique enemy. I think he's in one of the Chalice dungeons, but he's featured there as a boss. Here is just quite a low health. It's almost like a super-sized one of the werewolves. down here. Where does this go? Crows. A hat and some clothes. Ah, that's one of those guys. That enemy there is very difficult. So I would try and avoid him at this part of the game. He will be an enemy that you see more later on. He's not easy. Enemies just here to the left, I think. Yeah, he's over there. There he is. He walks very slowly. So you should have enough time to get whatever you want down here without him ever really getting too close to you or presenting too much of a threat. That there is the lift out of this small little 
area. But I would recommend getting all the items here first, because once you go up that lift and drop down, there's no way to get back here without going to the bottom of the pit again. These enemies are quite dangerous. They can suck out your insight. Oh no! Got me. Oh, that attack is so annoying. Two of your frenzy as well. There we go. Generally, every time I've run into one of those enemies, they've always managed to get insight from me, which is quite. Annoying. That enemy down there, if you want to fight him, just be warned that dying to him at this point in the game is can be good in some respects, but also can be bad. And you'll have to obviously go to that pit again. So that's quite important. Now back at the Cathedral Ward again. Now again, this drop, there's no way to get back up here once you drop down from here without going through the entire pit again. So make sure you've got everything you want from the previous area before you drop down here. This opens up a shortcut now back to Odin Chapel, where we were at earlier. If we die going forward, it's... Oh, where did these guys come from? I don't remember these guys being here. I'm coming down from there. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay, now I don't think we've been down here before, have we? in this playthrough. I can't say for sure though. There's another one of those guys over there, those big uh, challenging guys, so be warned. Let's get this guy. Okay, if you don't walk too close over there, he won't come out and start attacking you. You'll stay in the corner. Yeah, this is back to the lantern that we were at earlier. Except now we don't have to go through there at all. We can come straight around here. And we've managed to get past a gate that we would need a certain emblem which you have to pay 10,000 salts for. That's the only other way to get to this section here. And to generally progress through the game. Okay, now we're going to come up here, and this, through this door here, is the boss fight. You're invincible when you open doors, as you can clearly see. And they won't follow you through here. So you're safe. Now then, I think let's just go straight for it. I'd say this boss fight is the first boss fight Aside from like the beginner ones, yeah, you know, the early ones, that sort of has presented quite a wall for some people that I've seen. And it's generally seen as being quite challenging.
eat his metal hair right there. Okay. My last playthrough of this, when I, you know, when I was recording, thinking that I was recording, but actually I was recording with no sound, I beat Vicar Amelia on, I think, the fourth try. Something like that. I know it was a few attempts. It was a bit... What am I doing here? I know it was a few more attempts than the other... The most of the other bosses in the game. Surprise me. Heal up, heal up. I can barely see where she is because of all the hair. I was I was mashing the heal button there and I couldn't even see my character. Literally couldn't even see my character. Come on man, I'm trying to roll around you. That was that was ridiculous. What was I even supposed? I couldn't even see what she was doing. Tears down is. What is it? Very well, let me. Let's try and use oil and molotovs. I haven't tried that before, but generally in this game, beasts are supposed to be weak to fire. And Vicar Amelia is a beast. I assume, anyway. So let's try that. See how much damage it does. How did that miss? 
How did that miss? Game, okay. you're, you're screwing me here. Okay. I can't move. Why can't I move? What the fuck, man? This boss is so crucial. <laughs> I even fucking see her. Can I take damage when she moves? Why am I dodging to the left? Why am I dodging to the left when I move my character to the right? I move my character to the right and he dodged to the fucking left. I dodged that. You all saw that. You all saw that. You all saw me dodge that. Can I, can I, I couldn't even see what was happening. I feel like this boss should be either a little bit smaller or the arena should be a little bit bigger. Preferably the boss should be a bit smaller. It's just too much to fit onto the camera and then dodging was, you know. A lot of the time I just cannot see the telegraphs for her attacks because she's so big and there's just hair everywhere. I, mean, I get that some people like to have lots of hair. Okay, I understand and I respect that decision, but if I'm trying to kill you, it does mean that it gets in the way. No, don't heal, you bitch. Back away. Back, back. Where, where is she?
There we go. Oh, I think that was <clears throat> four or five attempts. I'm not certain. It was similar to before. Now then, let's have a look. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Okay, that, it, it's not made very clear, but that gives you a password to get past a door that we haven't, I haven't shown yet in, the, in this playthrough. But we'll be going there soon, and then you will see which door it is. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that should be okay. And again, especially after that boss fight, the remainder of souls need to go into the blood of ours. Okay then, and that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe even share this video with anybody you might enjoy it if you feel it was good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Soul Reborn, signing out. Have a good one.